Good morning everyone and welcome to our morning inspiration Tuesday February 20 2024 I hope that you are doing well this morning and I hope that the Lord will continue to be with you I pray that he will pour out his spirit upon you today and give you peace our reading today it comes to us from Proverbs chapter 3 and we will read from verses 1 to 30 it says my son Forget not my law, but let thine heart keep my commandments. For length of days, and long life, and peace shall they have to thee. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck, write them upon the table of thine heart. So shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thine own eyes, fear the Lord, and depart from evil. It shall be health to thy navel, and marrow to thy bones. Honor the Lord with thy substance, and with the first fruits of all thine increase. So shall thy barns be filled with plenty, and thy presses shall burst out with new wine. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, neither be weary of his correction. For whom the Lord loveth, he correcteth, even as a father, the son in whom he delighted. Happy is the man that findeth wisdom, and the man that getteth understanding. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver, and the gain thereof than fine gold. She is more precious than rubies, and all the things thou canst desire are not to be compared unto her. Length of days is in her right hand, and in her left hand riches and honor. Her ways are ways of pleasantness, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to them that lay hold on her, and happy is everyone that retaineth her. The Lord by wisdom had founded the earth, by understanding had he established the heavens. By his knowledge the depths are broken up, and the clouds drop down the dew. My son, let them not depart from thine eyes, and keep sound wisdom and discretion. So shall they be life unto thy soul, and grace to thy neck. Then shalt thou walk in thy way safely, and thy foot shall not stumble. When thou liest down, thou shalt not be afraid. Yea, thou shalt not lie down, and thy sleep shall be sweat. Be not afraid of sudden fear, neither of the desolation of the wicked, when it cometh. For the Lord shall be thy confidence, and shall keep thy foot from being taken. Withhold not good from them to whom it is due, when it is in the power of thine hand to do it. Say not unto thy neighbor, Go, and come again, and tomorrow I will give, when thou hast it by thee. Devise not evil against thy neighbor, seeing he dwellest securely by thee. Strive not with a man, without cause, if he have done thee no harm. And I say, Amen. We give God thanks this morning for his holy word again. Surely, we are blessed to have his word so that we can learn more of him and so that we can gain understanding of the things that we need to do and so that we can become better by studying and growing in him. This morning reading speaks a lot about wisdom and wisdom is something that all man needs it is important for us to know how to apply wisdom to our life because when we do it will save us a lot of trouble and heartache so when we acquire knowledge because knowledge and wisdom is two different things knowledge is the information that you acquire and applying or the application of that information is wisdom. So that is the difference between the two. Now the Lord remind us in this chapter that we are not to forget his law or his commandment. And so how we apply these commandments is wisdom. In the commandment it says that we are not to steal we are not to lie, we are not to covet, we are not to build for our witness and all of that, right? That is the knowledge 
of the commandment. That is what we know about the commandment. And so now we are to put that which we know into practice and that is wisdom. So we will not lie and we will not steal and we will not have any other gods in our life apart from God himself. So that is wisdom or that is applying wisdom. And by doing so, it says that it will prolong our life. It will give us peace. When you abide by the commandment, when you don't steal, you don't have to worry about looking over your shoulder. You don't have to sleep with one eye open. Because what? You have nothing to worry about because you know you are living an honest and good life. You may not have it all, but you know that you are living a life that is honest and that is good but for somebody who who is not keeping the commandment and who is breaking the commandment and doing some of these things that they do they have to constantly be watching their back because what is either the police is out to get them or whoever they have offended or robbed or hurt is out to get them so they have no peace it also tell us that we are not to forget mercy. So we should show mercy to others and we should not forget the truth. So we should live by the truth. We should wrap them around our neck as the readings say. So they should always be in our mouth. We should always speak truth and we should always execute mercy in a fair manner. Okay? And when we do that, then, and when we do that, then we will find favor with God and man. Okay? It goes on to tell us that we are to trust in the Lord, not halfway, but wholeheartedly, with all our heart, and that we should not lean to our own understanding, but that we should acknowledge Him in everything that we do. Because God knows best. And so when we lean on his wisdom, he is able to guide us in the way that we are to go. But when we lead on our own understanding, when we depend on ourselves, then we will make a mess out of things. And then at the end of the day, we still have to go back to him. So might as well we just go to him in the first place. God is wise and he knows what is best for us. And so let us trust in him and let us depend on him and he will direct our path and as we think about him direct in our path it means that we will give him total autonomy and authority over our life and also that we will listen when he gives us instruction in which way to go so if we are asking him lord direct my path it means that we are willing to obey his command and to follow what he says even if we might not think it's favorable to us we know that god in his wisdom is doing what what is best for us and so we will trust him and follow his his direction amen it talk about be not wise in thine own eyes a lot of us sometimes believe that we are so wise that you know nobody can tell us anything or that we know everything and everybody else don't know anything. But we must remember that we must be humble. So you don't know everything. And so you can also gain knowledge and wisdom from other people. Right? So be open to learn and be humble. Okay? Honor the Lord, it says, with our substance or first fruit or increase so when the lord bless us we need to give back a portion to him and this is where tithing come in so the lord bless you and you give back a portion to him to tell him thanks for what he has done for you and when you do this the lord will continue to give you increase and he will continue to bless you and just to make a note here the increase might not always come in the way that you expect it to come so you might be looking for the increase in in money 
but Lord give you increase in health. You, you, get, you get what I'm saying? So don't be narrow-minded in our view because then we will miss the blessing and then we end up complaining that God is not doing anything for us. So we need to be mindful of that, okay? And it says that we are not to despise correction and the chastening of the Lord. So don't get angry when the Lord correct you. Don't get angry when the Lord reprove you. Because what? It's a good sign. It means, therefore, that he is trying to steer you and I in the right direction. Because the scriptures say that whom the Lord loveth, he chaseth. And in the same breath, when a parent scold a child or discipline a child, they don't do it because they hate the child. They do it because they love the child and they are trying to direct the child in the right direction. But the, but the view that is out there a lot of time is that when you discipline somebody or when you correct somebody, it means that you have something against them or you don't like them. That is not true. That is error, error, error. Maybe there are one or two persons who might do it that way, but not supposed to be like that. And in most cases, that's not the case. Okay? So... Don't get upset when people correct you. I know sometimes times it's not easy to be corrected, you know, because you don't want to be reminded of what you do wrong or whatever the case may be. But it's for your good. It's for my good. And so take it with some water. It's a hard pill to swallow, but get a glass of water and swallow it. It will make you feel better afterwards. So the bad feeling will only last for a moment. But the result that will come from you eating the correction will be something that you will be happy for in the long run. All right? Okay. So the, a lot of what the verse is saying to us is that wisdom is priceless and it is something that we should all desire to acquire. It is something that we should strive for because when we when we apply wisdom in our lives, it makes us better in the choices that we make, in the things that we do and how we do them, and it makes our life a lot more simpler and a lot more stress-free. Because what? We are following the precepts that are there to help us do and to live righteous in the light, in the sight of God. Okay? And there's something up in the verse that it states also that we must be kind to others. If we're in a position to help somebody, we must do so. Don't say that you will help them tomorrow if you can help them now. You understand? So do it now if you are in the position to do it now. Because you don't know about tomorrow. Tomorrow might just be too late. So if you are able to help now, do it now. If you are not able to do it now, well then, you can do it when you are able to do it. Okay, and also never try to, to store up things with others. Try to live peaceable with everyone. Okay, love your enemies, love those who treat you bad, and be kind because you are not representing yourself. So you can't deal with the matter how you see fit. You must trust God to deal with it for you. Okay. And the final thing that I want to say is this, that we must not envy the oppressor and that we should not seek to walk in his footsteps. So a lot of us sometimes we look at others and they seem to be prospering and these people aren't even serving God. And so we envy them and we red eye and you know, we covet but the bible is saying that we should not do that because first of all you don't know how that person get it what if he steal they steal it what if his blood they got it through you don't know and so rather than looking at others and envying them let us look to god and trust in him because he will bless us accordingly okay so may we continue to look to him who is able to give us wisdom and may we continue to apply the wisdom that he has given unto us 
or the knowledge that he has given to us and so that it can be a blessing to us and others. Amen. Have a wonderful day.